Hi all, this is Kate from Katie Did. We are at Mystic Park in Billings, Montana, and uh, I've never been here before, but it looks like it's some pretty interesting river access. And so come along with me, let's see what we can find. I just met another rock hunter down here at Mystic Park. He was headed back as I was headed in. And uh, he's from Tennessee, very nice fellow. Taught me a little bit about moonstones and uh, that was fun. So thanks for sharing and I hope you find lots more. The sun is coming out, so that's cool. What a beautiful place. These stones on the beach, I don't know, they, I feel like they look like aliens. Can't really say why I think that, but they just remind me of like, like maybe body snatcher eggs or something. All the pods have come down to the river. If so, we're doomed. This is a pretty cool rock. Brecciated. Brecciated basalt, maybe. Hunting is a little difficult largely because I have my dog on a leash and she keeps getting caught on bushes. She does not want to stay on the beach because it's very boring and the animals that she can chase are in the woods. However, we're in the big city and she can't just run around. So here we are. This is pretty. That stripe of green. Nice. and more pretty stripes. At this point, I'm not fussy. <laughs> it goes a little tiny iceberg going down the river. Anyway, here is a very nice tiny little agate. It'd be lovely tumbled. Truly, it's probably pure chalcedony, but as I mentioned earlier, that's way too hard to say. I'm just going to call them all agates. This is very pretty. Maybe a jasp agate? I'll take it home just because I know that that would be lovely sliced. Petrified wood. And jasper. This jasper is very pretty. I think I'll take it home because it has that little stripe in it and I bet it'd be really cool polished. And then the other thing that I see down here is probably just quartzite, but it has an interesting shine. And since that fellow was talking about moonstones, which I know nothing about, I thought, well, maybe I'll see if I can keep an eye out for something that looks a little different. I bet this place is just gorgeous in the summertime and in the fall and in the spring. And even when there's snow on the ground. And it's kind of pretty right now. It's just a little bit dead looking. Here's some kind of cool conglomerate. Sometimes I wonder, especially in cities, if some of this is actually cement. It's kind of the same thing, just man-made instead of natural. Here's a piece of cement over here that I'm absolutely certain this is cement. So maybe the other one actually is older. It's hard like Jasper. I guess I'll just call it Jasper. I'm guessing this is some kind of an iron node. Uh, maybe the pyrite nodes that the fellow who recommended this beach was talking about. It's very interesting looking. And I'm guessing the iron just because of the color. I like it. <laughs> and then I started looking for my spray bottle. I'm like, where's the spray bottle? And I realized it was under my arm. So that was good. So let's take a look here. Boy, it's super heavy. I don't know. I'm not convinced, but I'm also not unconvinced. I'm gonna have to take that one home. It's probably not anything, but if it is, it's gonna be incredibly beautiful. 
I believe this is a piece of agatized wood, and I will take it home. This is a pretty little thing. So many lovely colors all just kind of swirled together. And this little knob right at the top here. I just love this piece. And there's this one, almost tumbled by the river. Very beautiful. I wasn't too sure that this was petrified wood until I squirted it off with my magic spray bottle. I thought maybe because of the iron stains that it was some kind of sedimentary rock, but now I'm convinced that it's wood. And while I stopped to look at the wood, I spotted this little thing. <laughs> Isn't this neat? Swirly, swirly. Wow, look at this. It's just a little skinny, but that looks like a picture just on the outside. I would love to slice that this way. I'm not sure there's enough. Maybe I'll glue it to a piece of wood and then I can slice it. That would be like so cool. Looks like the ocean and like trees hanging down and the sun over here and it's reflected here. Oh my gosh, that is just the prettiest thing. Let's see if the sun will come out. Nope, it's not coming out anytime soon. Still, wow. I know I've talked before about how the river replenishes itself every year, but this is a really great example of that. This gravel bar, every summer, every spring, gets flooded and it turns over, hello geese, it turns over all this gravel and gives you new stuff to find. And uh, that's lucky for us because that means there's always something fun. This is a kind of interesting rock. When I first saw it, I thought it was petrified wood. But now I'm pretty sure it's just kind of a granite, something like that. Kind of neat though. Kava found a prize. When people go hunting, they often dump the carcasses down by the river, which is kind of gross, but Kava loves it. My goodness, just look at these colors. This gold and blue kind of earthy tones is one of my favorite combinations, and I guess this is why I love it here so much. Well, the pickings have been pretty slim as far as agates go today. It's pretty bad when I get excited about finding something like this. It's so cute though. Billings is the biggest city in Montana. And while that's not saying much, it still means that there's a lot more people that have access to this beach than, say, down in Forsyth just easy to get to. Uh, so it's not that surprising that most of the easy pick and agates have been uh, removed, but there's still lots of really pretty things on the beach, lots and lots of gorgeous little rocks. Pretty much can't get enough of them. This is a little dirty, but I just wanted to show you the crystal structure in this rock. Isn't that pretty? That is neat. And then this is what it looks like on the outside. That was a beautiful day. What an incredible, incredible afternoon. It's January 4th, 2020, and I got hot out here on the beach. Uh, there's still snow around. It's windy, it's cool, but just a gorgeous day. I had a wonderful time. I hope you enjoyed some of my finds. If you enjoyed this video, if you like coming along for my adventures, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Like, comment, do all the things that they say you're supposed to do on Facetube, and help my channel grow. Thanks for watching, and keep on doing.